WMAR 2 News is your voice for veterans. A man who's been collecting signatures from World War II veterans from all over the world found a story that WMAR 2 News' Aaron McPherson had done about one of our local veterans. And Aaron joins us live right now. Aaron, it sounds like you talked to exactly the man that guy was looking for. Oh, absolutely. I mean, he reached out to me. He lives in on a Caribbean island. He reached out to me here after seeing one of the stories that we did back in 2019 on William Keyes, a World War II veteran who talked with us about how he had to fight racism while he was fighting in World War II. And so this man just wanted to get his signature because of his service. And it was just really incredible the connection that we were able to make. But here's the logbook story. This book is from World War II. It's how pilot Cyril DeVoe logged his flights. Now the book flies around the world. That document that you have with you has a life of its own. And it, it literally goes where it wants. Nicholas DeVoe is Cyril's son. He became fascinated with World War II. And one day, about five years ago, he saw an article on Konami Harada, an accomplished Japanese pilot who was at Pearl Harbor. It always disturbed him, the amount of violence he had witnessed, and he really felt strongly that war is just not the answer. It doesn't solve anything. And he became a peace advocate. I just thought, wow, imagine if I could get this guy to sign my dad's book. So he sent the book to Japan with a friend. I didn't tell anybody in my family. I didn't breathe a word of this to anyone. Harada died before he could sign the book. This was in 2016 when President Barack Obama was in Hiroshima and met with survivors of the atomic bomb. One of them was Shigiaki Mori. Dubo saw that and decided to look him up. Shigiaki Mori was 10 years old, walking to school on the 6th of August, 1945. It's blown off a bridge, falls into a river, and survives the atomic bombing. Years later, when a monument was put up with all the names of the Japanese people who died in the attack, Mori decided the Americans who were there deserved to be named too. So he sets about trying to figure out the identities of these men. Eventually, he found all of the families of these American people who had died. And now, all of their names are on that memorial in Hiroshima, in Japan, because of this man, Shigiaki. Mori was DeVoe's first signature. He just signed it in English, very simply, two, two words, Shigiaki Mori. He signed it, and that was just so, and then I just, all of a sudden, that was a watershed moment because the whole world just opened up to me. And I just started, and at that point, I was like, well, gosh, what other amazing stories are out there? And that's how it's been since that day. There are now more than 100 signatures, each with a different story, with representation from around the globe. I would like to get as many nationalities. There's all sorts of people who contributed to this war in ways that you never even heard of, from places you never heard of. So here is the book. The book came to Maryland for William Keyes to sign after DuBose saw a story we did on him in 2019. Keyes served on the 4341st Quartermaster Corps and the 761st Tank Battalion during World War II. You read about the 761st, I don't see any of them being alive. So when your feet popped up next to Keyes in 71st, I was like, I keep seeing missing. I straight in and found you. So we got the book and brought it to Mr. Keyes who explained his connection to the 761st. When we were in Germany, and they needed an extra gunner for, for one of the things, because I knew about 50 caliber from machine guns. And so they so they were glad to get rid of me too, you see, because I raised so much hell all the time. <laughs> so you left the 4341st? I went into the tank of the 761st. Yeah, and then later on I went back. This is a German guy down here. I know that's a Tuskegee Airman right yeah. there. Charles McGee. He up in. I knew him. Just Japanese. Yeah, just yeah, Russian. Hmm. Got a hell of a book here. Isn't it? For Keyes' signature, Duvaux had one request that he sign on the same page as Nessie Godin, a Holocaust survivor since Keyes helped liberate concentration camps. That's her. That's the woman you just mentioned. What is this? What is this book? Well, it's the Washingtonia book. They were featured in the same magazine spread, so Keyes gladly signed on the same page. What's the picture? Oh, it's the Keyes. 
you could look at it, you, you don't identify that as keys? There's keys. Bill Keys. I'm glad to sign it. Mr. Keys has always given me a hard time, but once he finished signing that book, we had to pack it up and send it to its next destination. I sent it to a veteran in Michigan. That book is constantly on the move, heading from A to B, just all, all over the place. So we have more on this story, WMAR2news.com slash voice for veterans. There you can follow the logbook project journey. Reporting live, Aaron McPherson, WMAR2news.